products and everything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think you know, um I think yes. the entire thing is that you will have to make them know that whatever is being sent to them in the group is important and they will, should make sure that they go through every single thing that is sent to them in the group because i think this is the problem with so much so many of them they don't go through messages in the group and also some of the things that have been sent to them they don't go through it they just open it and that's it so if they are to go through all that some of these things will not happen i believe that was the major reason with them yeah I think that that's really was awesome. and also you know Kinta has been complaining about teamwork. That seems like there was not much of a communication. Can you imagine group one was asking us what was the assignment when it was like two one month almost the assignment is over, you know, and then they just have to fast forward walk on the walk and send it to us like a, mm -hmm. a, a three days later. So to me that's not an idea. You cannot walk on an idea for one two three days and then submit that. Yeah, I you think understand? also it's not only that. I don't think some of them are even giving it their best. I think maybe some of them are taking this whole thing for a joke. I don't get it because like like you said, somebody just like all the messages we have been sending, some of them don't go through it. Mm -hmm. I don't also know, but I think some of them, this is their first time of doing teamwork from what I have gathered from their explanation. Because all they kept on concentrating on was, ah, we did this, you know, like group four, kept on saying, ah, we did a team role about what they need to do. That's mm -hmm. like, I sent it again to them and tell them this is what they need to do. Because some of them don't even know as a team role what their work was actually. So... So, um, Abdullah, as an, as an individual who is um, currently at the university or let's say college and still don't know how to work on problems and, you know, when a problem is presented to them to work on those things, how do we help people like that? You know, because I think this is really going to help so many people out there that are going through things like this. Uh, I think... Uh... You know, uh, if they are in university, I don't know whether some of them are in university or not. They have to learn how to make a presentation. Uh, I think what I, what I, what they are lacking is the basics of presenting idea. They don't know even how to present the idea. They don't know how to uh, put their work on the screen and share audience, something like that. All of them, when, whenever you give them chance, like Aisha, when she invited uh, group members to present their work, they start talking about uh, the web yeah. and also like their team members, what everyone contributed and so far. And they didn't present it the work it is still. And that is a major challenge. You gave us work, yes. You sent us and uh, share, share with us your work. So present your work, make a presentation, the slides. Don't put all the information on the screen. Like uh, take highlights or bullet points from your work and share with us. That is it. So. I think um, for now on, they, they, they need three things to be done. First is time management. They will get 15 minutes and they have to present their ideas in that 15 minutes. Second, they have to invite each and every of their team members. Bring together and give them role. And those people that they've given the roles should uh, bring their roles on the screen. What they have done for the group, what they have done for the web. This, the third thing is they need to present their work. The most important thing, not how they did it, but what, what they have done. The challenge, the solutions, the way forward, the policies. They need to learn more about, you know, the, uh, 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 the AU and how it's working. Because everything is out there in the internet. They need to research it. And make a presentation simple, like uh, a small presentation, and that is it. So uh, they are facing a lot of challenge. And also, I think we can make another training uh, for uh, uh, presentation development and uh, content creation, something like that. That is very important. So in the future, we have to make one of the training uh, of our programs, like how to create a content and also how to create a presentation, a very powerful presentation, and how to present your presentation. 
those are the things they are doing. What are the what are the do's and don'ts? What are the uh, things that you improve uh, in your work? How to prepare your slides? Uh, so those are the things that they need to learn. I think that right. is- I think that would really help. Like Kento is saying, some people are just taking this for joke. Yeah, I think maybe they just think it's a WhatsApp group and it's a bunch of young people behind it, so it's something just a joke and not thinking this is something really serious and don't know what's going to be the outcome of this thing. So, um, yeah, uh, I think this I message think really also, impacts Fatu, a lot. Mm-hmm. I think also, if Abdullah, if in future we should have another training, one thing we should also uh, point out to them as a group, when one person who is there to present, it's not present. If every one of the members in a group went through the work, anyone should have been able to present exactly. on the behalf of them. Mm-hmm. But I, mm-hmm. I saw that they were all running away from it because they don't have any idea about exactly. what they even sent. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's just one person who she was absent and the rest could not say anything, which was really bad because I think after the work is done, they should have everyone in the group should have gone through the uh, group, through the, uh, through the work and be able to present. But... Anyways, yeah, I think uh, I, I think that goes back to teamwork because if uh, we don't work as a team, we cannot um, come out to present what someone else was supposed to present. But I believe if everything is being worked as a team or a group, you know, no matter how prompt it is, you'll be able to come out and say something um, concerning the work that you have been given. It's just all about That's teamwork. True. But no matter how, how simple it is, if you are not there to work or if you don't know anything about it, you can come out to um, say anything about it. So yeah. I believe it's all about teamwork. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Absolutely. Yeah, so okay. listen, we learned something from them today. Uh, uh, they learned something from us. So yeah. I don't know the other team, uh, uh, the other teams, the other team groups, what they will present and how they will present. I don't know, but Mm-hmm. I think that they are all following one strategy. What did they, what did they learn such a strategy? I don't you know, understand for group too. One, for group yeah. one, they talk, they talk, they talk, they didn't present their work. For group two, <laughs> they did the same. So who, <laughs> who, <laughs> who gave them such a strategy? I don't know. I don't know who gave this strategy. <laughs> and the same thing. And, group, and the group four, they just came in before to even, the PowerPoint is in front of you. They didn't say, okay, I don't want, I want to talk about this, but they're talking about this is what we face, this is what happened. Because when it comes to um, time differences, AYA, we, we don't give time difference a challenge. We know we all live in different time zones, and then we are all students, we are all working, we, we have families. And I don't see that any excuse in the research lab that we are not currently facing right now. It's just a matter of you want to do something and you prioritize it. You know, it's like a knowledge gain. So from all everything I've been seeing, like you said, I don't know who gave them this strategy, but it's, it's just so crazy. And the one thing that still is in my brain is group one <laughs> asking that they're confused about the research when it's just day before yesterday. I just don't but know. But Aisha, how is it like in the University of the Ghana? Yeah. How is it like when people are presenting their works, when they are giving presentations? Because if they are following the same line like we have observed, because uh, Sierra Leone and Gambia have almost the same learning yeah. system. We mm-hmm. sit to the same exam. So how is it like in the university in Gambia, mm-hmm. Aisha? I think uh, presentation, when it comes to presentation, you just um, do everything, your entire work, and then come out to present your PowerPoint, how it should be presented. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know how they come up with the presentations they are giving us here, but yeah, the presentation we do at the university is quite different from what they are giving us. Because in university, in University of the Gambia, I've never stood in front of a class to tell them that, okay, this is what I experienced working with my team, or this is what we have done working with my team. Never have I done that. I always present on the PowerPoint that I'm that are the topic that I'm giving, but I've never experienced someone coming up to present how they have worked as a team. Never have I done that. I, the only thing we do is that you write down some of the people who did not participate, and then you submit it to the lecturer, and the lecturer deal with them. But coming out to tell us that, 
it's really funny that I'm seeing them presenting on their group walk, right, uh, on their team walk, rather than their walk itself. It was so funny. It's not because actually I experienced that from them because they <laughs> kept sending me their work separately. I would exactly. receive one work from and three people in just exactly. one Exactly. I think and I went on. Um, okay, Kinte, not to cut you, Abdul, I wanted to highlight this part also. So, because maybe this video, we will see this video and it could help the people that already present this and those that are going to come. And maybe also even some other people outside anywhere in the world can benefit from this video. So, group, group one, was it group one? Their group, they were delayed to send their work. And it goes to a point that the spokesperson himself was able to do his own research separately by himself and text me was like, I'm really passionate about this work. And then I feel like if I work with individual, I'll really put so much idea on it. He emailed his own work, that's the badge to AYA. So this really is telling me that these people, they don't learn from the negotiation class, leaderships were not being learned. Because when it comes to becoming a leader, you have to know how to delegate and you have to know how to initiate. So these people, some people will send, the spoke person is responsible to send them group's work. One person will send to Kinte, another person in the group will send it to me. Another random person in the group will email it to AYA. So it's really frustrating. It's like people are not listening. The listening skills are not there. They don't communicate and also they don't pay attention. Because if you, Abdullah, you gave me the work to work on this AU team, and then Aisa and Kinte are my team, first thing I will do, if I'm going to take the group role, I will make sure everybody is, one person has to take the, the whole responsibility, you know, delegate everybody in the team. Aisa, you said you want to be our this one, you want to be our this one. This is what is expected from you. And this is the time that we need to do this thing. We work on, we have to do the research first to do the study. What caused malnutrition in Africa? We come with that one right now. Now we have to come with the, you know, uh, the pros and cons. Now we go to the solutions and what needs to be done. This is just very much simple. And now this is your whole work. You now have to pitch, summarize the entire everything. Don't waste your time and don't waste people's time. Because already we know your work. You know your work. Just summarize everything and present it to us. So this is not what it has been found. So I don't know whether this has to do with um, the educational system that we have. We have not been taught with things like this. You know, but um, I thought you okay, saying it's different. Before you go, yeah. Before, before you go on, uh, the like where you said it has to do with listening of the, of the participants. I don't think sometimes you know they will join the meeting. They they are present, but um, let's say they they are present there, but physically they are not. They will be doing yeah. something out there while it is said present. That was something that is also affected I, because I realized that with um, group one, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. three, mm -hmm. the, some of them were present. Yes, some of them were present in the meeting, but when we call them, they were not answering. Meaning they were not present there physically. It was just the camera was off, but and then we see we see that this so and so is present, but they were not present actually. <laughs> So I think that was also one of the issues that we were facing. <laughs> I know. You know uh, let, me, let, me, let me tell you two uh, funny stories that I, I went through. Like, uh, you know, uh, generally when you're presenting a presentation, you have to divide the works into parts. And give, give each and every team member of the group like, a part of the work. And they need to do those works. And also there's, there should be someone who's organizing the things like there should be a mm -hmm. manager someone mm -hmm. to delegate the work and bring it together then uh send to one of the uh supervisors to see if there is anything need to be done or there are something or to make their comments and then send it back to the team and improvise those things and then present it that is simple like when we were doing uh my bachelor there was a time uh, we were like having a group presentation and there was a friend of mine so he was like very lazy person he was not that like effective uh, when it comes to group work and then he said guys every one of us will get a part to present yes I said yes so he said give me the reference but for me I said, what? I said, why? He said, I will collect all the references. And then we were presenting. When we finished the presentation, he stood up and he said, and here is the reference. We got our information from these references. That is it. 
So, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> and also, there's, like, there's, uh, uh, my, my nephew, my nephew, like, when the COVID started, we were, we were like, living in the same house. And then one day, she had an online class. And she put a teddy bear in front of the camera, and then he put a wig on the teddy bear. Oh he, he 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 on the she on the camera and then she left to play uh, <laughs> with her friend and then the teacher the teacher was calling uh, Amina 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 answer that question answer that question oh, so I hear the the voice and then I came to the to the room that she was studying she was not there there was only teddy bear oh, wow. <laughs> in front of the camera <laughs> in front of the camera so like normal <laughs> <laughs> kids are amazing. Kids are amazing. <laughs>